Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. It is CitizenCon in a few days time. It, it, it's hours away. I suppose that's true even if it's next year. It's still hours away. It's just a lot of hours. But it's it's soon. I'm going entirely off script today. I've barely got any bullet points. It's it just I just want to talk about some absolutely crazy rumors and silly things that might happen at CitizenCon. Some stuff that people have gone, oh yeah, I think this is going to happen or whatever. And this is sort of like, things that might happen. It's just particularly unlikely. Well, some of this stuff's rumoured. Some of this stuff is possible. But some of this is pretty far down the rabbit hole. We're, we're going down the rabbit hole with some CitizenCon rumours and predictions. Base building. We, we actually know that's going to be talked about. But base building in 4.0 is a possibility. So a lot of people think this is this is what's going to be happening. There's obviously been some leaks about some vehicles for base building, some teasers about this as well. And they, they've talked about it, some vehicles and ships and stuff they're going to be talking about as part of the industrial gameplay, which is connected to base building. But the homesteads and some level of base building is going to be shown off at CitizenCon. And some people think that this is going to be immediately available in 4.0. I say immediately. Available later in the year, hopefully, with 4.0. To be honest, that one's not actually that crazy. That That is something that could happen. They obviously showed off a little bit of homestead stuff earlier in the year, just from like a little few second tweet. They talked about having base building in-game within 12 months or by the end of 2024 at last year's CitizenCon. And if you assume it's only going to be at small scale with hand tools and vehicles, the smaller side of base building, then yeah, I think it's quite possible. This might also come with crafting at the same time. Again, this is um, some stuff that's a little bit more out there, but I suppose this is probably one that's probably the most reasonable. Multiple star systems being released with 4.0 is another thing that's being talked about. So. We know Pyro's there, we know Stanton's there, and we know that Cloud Imperium have been working on other star systems like Nyx and Odin and potentially some others. And a lot of people seem to think that 4.0 will also herald the release of the Nyx system and potentially more beyond just Pyro. And th there was some awesome theories that I saw that literally I was like, oh, I quite like this theory, um, about last year's engine demo at CitizenCon being a teaser for the star systems that they're going to release with 4.0 or soon after. And that's because there's like a splodge of like the pyro orange, and then there's the Stanton slightly more green space. And then we've got some other colors there as well going on, which could potentially be Nyx and Odin and or other star systems like that. And um, people are saying that oh, maybe this is an Easter egg. Maybe this is the other sky boxes from those other star systems that they're gonna be releasing this year. But also they'll be sort of announcing and showing this off at Citizen Con. So, I mean, if, if that's true, amazing, awesome. Something else that is a possibility, but is maybe on the lower end of possibility, it sort of depends. A playable Squadron 42 demo. That is something that may well be there physically for people that attend to play. It's possible that we'll get some form of vertical slice shown off of Squadron 42 again, but like of a, of a full chapter or as a, a prelude chapter, like potentially chapter one or something. This is also being bundled with the idea that Squadron 42 will be released fully next year. So chapter one will be released next year and that they've got chapter two and three already in the works. Again, I suppose it is possible, right? Sandworms. <laughs> this is my personal favourite. So, uh, people were saying, like, there's been lots of nods to the Valakir, uh, which is the sandworm they showed off at the 2016 CitizenCon. They also said that it's going to be the return of a legendary friend, one of the panels says. Now, a lot of people think this is going to be, uh, like, Mark Hamill or Gary Oldman, someone like that, returning to CitizenCon, updated Admiral Bishop's speech, or uh, Mark Hamill being there in person and seeing the updates to their character for Squadron 42. But it could also be a sandworm. They could be talking about sandworm stuff. People have been rumoring that there's going to be a sandworm gameplay mode in Arena Commander, or that they're going to actually release Lear 3 soon, or well, the Lear system soon. There are some hints at that, like they've got the good Doctor map, which is Lear 2 flyable. You can you fly around it now. Lear 3 was the planet where the sandworms live in, in the 2016 CitizenCon demo they showed. 
I'd love to see sandworms. I'm hoping that sand, a sandworm is at CitizenCon this year and they go, yes, we are working on things like this for the creatures in the game and they will be in your hands in some form, sandworms, and the work we've done on them is not wasted. It's not just for show. It's also you're going to be able to make them your tails. That you're going to be able to experience this. And if that's true, awesome, amazing. Something I would like to see as well is combat atlases. I want to see a Prometheus. I want to see these Titan suits with punching. Boop, boop, boop. Or that's more shooting. Pew, pew, pew. Things like that. That that would be cool. I think it's a possibility. It might, might be a very slim possibility that we'll get them at CitizenCon and then into the game. But the fact that CIG have gone, you can buy the Atlas in the in-game shops with 3.24.2. Awesome. That makes me happy. And uh, why not? Why not sell a combat version? It'll make them a load of money. What's this? A Toby Eye Tracker ad? I have compiled a list of suitable occasions to purchase the Toby Eye Tracker as a present. For yourself, for your nan's 80th birthday, she may be an avid player of Star Citizen, or you can just go, oh no nan, you don't like it, it's okay, I'll use it for you, don't worry. Baby showers, or an infant's birthday. There are very few situations where the Toby Eye Tracker is not the perfect gift. The Toby Eye Tracker gives you natively supported high precision head and eye tracking for Star Citizen, and a load of other games for that matter. There's a load of cool bits like Toby Ghost, so you can see where eyes are looking, but also you got camera boost, which is like mouse acceleration for your head. Until the 28th of October, you can grab 15% off by using the link below. There's also a sweepstake running where you can grab yourself a Star Citizen ship and start a pack. Again, links below. Now, back to the video. Some people were expecting, or are expecting, the Idris to be available to players in-game at CitizenCon onwards. They're like, or, or with 4.0 onwards, I should probably say. Like, they're thinking that that's going to be the, actually the Idris is ready before um, Squadron 42 now. It, it's, it's ready, you, you can fly it. I mean, I love the idea. I think it would, um, they could sell the Idris and make a load of money with it as well. It would really help bolster players wanting to do the larger scale multi-crew gameplay and some interesting capital ship PvP. It'd also be really cool to then capture Idrises and, and sort of keep them for a longer term. Although, where would you keep them? One of the other big things that people, I suppose, are hoping for is that when they're talking about the Star Citizen 1.0 release, that that release is planned for early 2026. Some people have suggested potentially even by the end of 2025. I don't think, looking at the sort of speed of development of the game, that that's feasible. Although it does depend on what they mean by Star Citizen 1.0, how they define it, right? If they go, well, actually, technically, it's sort of like, to us, that's more of a beta. We're restarting the, the whole numbering scheme for Star Citizen because we're, we're now moving to beta. If it's something like that, then yes, that does become quite feasible. And I'd still be excited for it moving into beta. Actually, some other bits and bobs uh, that I was just looking through Reddit for, some people think that like, the Genesis and um, Plant 3 tech v5 tools and that sort of stuff will be eventually player facing that would enable you to basically have your own private servers or um, host modded versions of star citizen we know that cig had sort of registered a new ip as well soul singer and some people think that's going to be a new game or the ability to mod star citizen or something like that and be announced at citizen con as well some people think we're going to have some Star Citizen HOTAS and other branded hardware, which is actually much more likely than you think, especially with like Toby being there, Scan being there, uh, VKB Sim being there. We know that Cloud Imperium have also got deals with Monster Tech for their chairs. There's some Sim Rig stuff that's going on at CitizenCon. I'm super excited. It's going to be a great event. There's obviously a load of silly rumors and ideas that of stuff that might be there. Some of which um, may prove to not be silly at all. Actually, oh wow, this this happened or this is happening, and um, there's going to be lots of cool stuff. But. I'm particularly excited about base building and the industry stuff they're going to be talking about. The road to Star Citizen 1.0, that is going to be pretty exciting, I think, and it will have CIG committing to some pretty big milestones and potentially what a minimum viable product of Star Citizen 1.0 looks like. We've got that redacted UEE presentation, which is going to be Squadron 42. Will we get 
a hard release date and will it be in the not too distant future is that going to be next year i'm really interested to know what your crazy star citizen predictions are not even crazy ones what things you would love to see at citizen con things that you're hoping to see what of those things that i've said do you think are possible that might turn up by the end of the year or being talked about at citizen con whatever your thoughts or questions i would love to hear from you in the comments below also listen to this chap about getting nordvpn and stuff a very long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, CIG had taken over the development of NordVPN. And at NordicismCon, the yearly Nord FanFest, they were releasing their first game, Squadron Nordy 2. It's amazing, and it would truly revolutionise the FPS industry. Then I woke up and realised that NordVPN is already great and released, and it doesn't need an FPS module, it's a VPN. And you should get it now, links below, discount. That helps channel. Read bullet points. Every month we have a ship giveaway for October. It's for a Drake Corsair with a game package and lifetime insurance. All you have to do to be in for a chance of winning that lovely Star Citizen access and ship that can be used for exploration, but it's also this cool little multi-role, multi-crew ship. You just need a comment on any of our videos made during October. That will go into the hat. It's not a hat, it's it's a spreadsheet. It goes into that, and then a random person is chosen. With the addition of Alpha 4.0 and Pyro, there's going to be tons more to see and explore. The Corsair is perfect for that. Good luck. Please consider supporting the channel as well. We've got the join button under our videos that will make you a channel member. That goes a long way in supporting the channel, as does becoming a Patreon. It's pretty much the same thing, but for different mediums. You can also like, comment, share, or sub, things like that. That all helps with the channel hugely. We are also gathering questions for Citizen Con, so chuck those in the comments below as well. If I find any appropriate devs, I will ask your question, or I, I will probably amalgamate lots of questions together and make them more concise. Thank you so much for your support and watching, and I hope you have a great October.